You voted, I'm delivering. Let's make a pumpkin roll today. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. A while ago, I took a little poll with you guys to see which TikTok try you guys would like to see me do next and the pumpkin roll was the winner. So that is what we are going to make today. I have my little notebook here of like all the TikToks like that I'd like to try in the future. So I will be giving you guys more polls. So stay tuned for that so you guys can have a say in what I do next. But I've already measured out the ingredients. So let me go ahead and show you what you need and let's assemble this thing. To make the cake portion, you are going to need two thirds cup of pumpkin, a cup of sugar, three eggs, and one teaspoon of vanilla. You're gonna need a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Or if you don't like either of those or are allergic to cinnamon or something, you can do half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of clove, and a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. So that's another option. You're also gonna need a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, and three fourths cup of flour. And then for the filling, you're gonna need eight ounces of cream cheese, two tablespoons of butter, one cup of powdered sugar, and a teaspoon of vanilla. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher, higher. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher, higher. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher, higher. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher, higher
So I got my little pumpkin slice here. Let's go ahead and give this a try and see if it was worth it. It was chilling for longer than like the two or three hours that was recommended just because we went to dinner and you know, whatever, but it's totally fine. You know, this tastes good. Um, I've made pumpkin bread before I've made cream cheese kind of frosting before. So it's not like there's anything like a new ingredient that I've worked with in this stuff. So it's not like I'm like blown away, like how did I not ever come up with this combination before? Um, but it is very delicious and I could definitely see making it again. I love the parchment paper hack, that way you don't have to transfer it to a towel and roll that in flour or whatever. The parchment paper worked fine. I did use a bigger pan than what was recommended on the TikTok, but I didn't use all of the pan and I think the size of the roll, like looking at it relative to the frosting, I think turned out okay. There was a little bit more frosting at the initial roll, and I think I did that on purpose because I was afraid there'd be too little frosting. But overall, I like the look of it. It did look like it was gonna crack and break on me, um, like as I was beginning to roll it, and that made me a little bit nervous. But overall, I think this is a success. I'm excited to let my family enjoy the rest of this little pumpkin roll. And like I said, I think it's a win. I'm not like surprised by the flavor combination, but I'm not like turned off by it at all. I think it's very delicious. And yeah, I'm excited to have more of this. The pumpkin bread recipe that I've made before and shared on this channel uh, incorporates raisins and my mom was like are there going to be raisins in this pumpkin roll and I was like no I'm trying to stick to the TikTok recipe but I think you know maybe incorporating raisins would work in here my only concern is that it would make the roll break or crack more easily so you know maybe we can throw it in the frosting I don't know I was like mom you can just sprinkle ra raisins on top and that should be good but that would be one way to alter this or I guess you could top it with like nuts. You could put some of the frosting on top of the roll as well and then put nuts and raisins on that and decorate it in a certain way. So there's lots of ways to like modify the final look of this, but I think the taste is delicious. And let me know if you guys decide to give this a try down below in the comments. I would love to hear how it goes for you and if this is something that you plan on making in your own house. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around. Also, I have a whole series and playlist of these TikTok tries that I've been doing over the past many months. So go ahead and check that out if you wanna see more ideas that I found interesting on TikTok and worthwhile. And I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday, you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.